Hi, this is JP from No The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another deck testing video, and this time we are testing out the Angel Pre-Build Protection deck against the first scenario from the next evolution box, which is the Murloc Siege. So, um, Angel is a three-sided hero card, so we have it set up here on the bigger board, and we have this thing here to uh, when we shift on the smaller sides, and of course the big side is on the other side, so we can have uh, the side showing which we are in from the aspect or or the forms. But yeah, uh, this is the first scenario from the box, so shouldn't be a problem for Angel's pre-built deck, but we'll see. So, without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin, so first off, we have selected the uh, villain we are starting, and it is Archlight. Uh, then uh, we have the rooted here, so uh, just to remind how this scenario works, we need to defeat three villains from here, and they go underneath here, and when we have three defeated, we win the game, and of course uh, we are not allowed to get this uh, Mutant Massacre advanced, so we will advance to that uh, in three turns if the villain. Uh, yeah, when we uh, resolve the step one of the villain phase, we place one knockout counters, uh, knock counters here. So uh, when we have three, we will automatically advance. So the first part is a bit of a race, but we'll see how this goes. So we'll draw our opening hand. We get uh, Aviant Anatomy, uh, Warpath, Soaring Hearts, uh, Worthington Industries, Syrian and Ever Vigilant. Well, I am not liking these over costly allies and not the Soaring Heart at the start. And. Uh, yeah. We'll uh, keep the rest. So we'll draw three cards. In the mulligan, another uh, ever vigilant power of light and aerial intervention. So, a pretty crappy start for us, but it is what it is. So, I'm actually thinking of heading to um, Archangel. So, we have the uh, regrowth action on Warren Warrington the uh, third. It is uh, heal one damage from Warren Warrington. Third, a limit once per round. We haven't taken any damage, so we are not doing that. So I'll go immediately to Archangel mode. So we will just start hitting the en enemy. So we'll hit for two damage. Then I will play uh, Ever Vigilant with the power of flight. So radio hero and remove two threats from a scheme. Um, the main scheme, so we have readied. Oh, yeah, and uh, because we played an ever uh, avia or aerial uh, event, we can use Angel of Death response after you play an aerial event, deal damage to an enemy equal to the event's printed cost limit once per phase. So we'll deal two damage more with that. Then I will play another. I'm actually, yeah, so I'm, I'm using uh, Aerial Intervention and Avian Anatomy uh, after I hit one more time. So we are dealing a lot of damage, then I'll play another Ev Ever Vigilant. Now we can't deal the extra damage, but Avian Anatomy says, after you spend this card to play an aerial event, return that event to your hand and resolve and after resolving its effects, so uh, we get the Ever Vigilant back into our hand. Uh, we get the ready, there's now set to be removed. Then we use the Ever Vigilant to play uh, 
Burton Industries. And last thing we do, we will hit for two more damage. And that is our whole turn, we ready up. We draw back up to five, one, two, three, four, five. So really powerful turn, uh, dealing seven damage without any damage dealing cards. But still, uh, we get uh, Techno Organic Wings, Containment Strategy, Aerial Agility, Taunt and Angel's Eerie. Okay, we'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we have an acceleration icon from here, so we place two threats on the main scheme. Art Clyde attacks. And I think I won't defend, so I'll actually give Arc Light plus two damage. Yeah, so uh, Arc Light hits for three plus zero. Okay, that's that's okay. So we take three damage, not that much. We started from twelve, so that is okay. Then the first encounter card of the game is Blockbuster. So, Blockbuster is a zero scheme to attack with an asterisk, brute, marauder, and five hit points. Guard, post in the route. When Blockbuster attacks you and an ally or an ally you control, choose give Blockbuster a tough, uh, tough status card, or uh, Blockbuster gets plus two at, uh, for attack for this attack. Okay, so we need to deal with Blockbuster before we can hit Arc Light, but that is the first round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so one thing I forgot to do is put the knock counter here, so let's not forget about that. Uh, we'll add that there. Okay, well, uh, on this round, uh, let's see. I think I'm going to play the Techno Organic Wings. Okay, let's see. So, do we have a good aerial? No. We could let Arc Light attack us. Well, uh, I'm playing Techno Organic Wings. We don't have any side schemes in play, so I'll ditch that. I'll ditch that, and uh, I'll ditch that. Then uh, I will go to yeah I'll go to Angel. No, it doesn't work how I want want it to work. So let's see. So. Uh, we'll play Taunt uh, with the um, Techno Organic Wing, so we reduce the cost by uh, 2, so it doesn't cost anything. So the villain attacks us, I will this time take the Confused, and I will defend. So the villain hits for 1, plus 1 is... We don't take any damage, then we get to three, uh, draw three cards. And I'm just going to play the Soaring Acrobatics. Then I will go to Angel for next round. So, let's see. Uh, action Exhaust Lock Worth in the Industries. Well, one aerial card from your discard pile into your deck. You are in Alter Ego mode. Draw a card. We'll do that at the end of the end of the phase. And uh, well, uh, there's aerial agility. And we get the ready up. Okay, we draw back up to five. One, two, three, four, five. We get uh, Cannonball, the Power of Flight, Razor Dive, 
aerial agility, adaptive plumage. So razor drive. I think we are going to play that next round. Going to all. Um, going to archangel to get rid of blockbuster, but we'll see. So we'll go to the base. We add one threat to the scheme. Arc like attacks, and uh, I can't confuse anyone, so I'll have to give arc like bust to attack. So I will defend. I'm using soaring acrobatics. So three plus one, and if you control Moloch ally, we don't, so we ignore that. So we get four against three, so we take one damage. Then blockbuster, I'll give. Blockbuster are tough, so we take two damage. I will get an encounter card, and it is Arc Light, but we just discard it because Arc Light is already in play, and we get a push to the limit. Condition attached to the villain. Uh, while there is exactly one villain under a road, it attached villain gains steady. While there are exactly two villains under road, routed. Attacks villain gains stalwart. Hero action attacks villain attacks you, discard this card. Well, I'm just going to defeat um, Arc Light soon enough so we can ignore that. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. And again, I forgot to add a knock counter here. So we'll do that now. So uh, we'll just head to. Archangel. Then I'll use. No, uh, we'll actually use this to ready Angel. And uh, we'll go to Archangel. We'll use the power of light and. Aerial agility to play Razor Dive. Okay. So, uh, attack deals 6 damage to an enemy. If, an, if you are Archangel, this attack gains overkill and kills. So, we are uh, hitting Blockbuster with this. So, we deal 6 damage. So, we remove the tough with the piercing first. Then, we deal 5 damage. And one damage uh, over kills over to Arc Light. Then uh, I'll use Angel's ab uh, Archangel's ability to deal uh, three damage to uh, enemy. We defeat Arc Light. So Arc Light goes under routed, and the next villain we are facing is Chimera. And Chimera has eleven hit. So we'll add those. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> I'm using this to put the Razor Dive back into my deck. It is good to have the attack abilities on hand. We just want to rush basically the enemy. Okay. We'll go, uh, we'll draw, ready, no, uh, we are still ready with Archangel, so we will just hit for 2 damage here, then we ready up, we draw back up to 5, we get Elixir, uh, Containment Strategy, Aerial Intervention, Cannonball, Adaptive Plumage, and Chimera has the Force Ability, uh, when a Chimera attacks you or an ally you control, spend a mental resource or Chimera gets plus 2 attack for this attack. Okay, we'll go to the villain phase. We add 2 threat to the main scheme. And then we actually add 1 uh, knock counter here. So we have at least 3 knock counters here advanced to stage. 2A. So when revealed, each player puts one set aside Moloch ally into play under their control, two set aside if playing solo. 
So we get two more locks and they come into play with tough. Then we shuffle the hide into the encounter deck. And that is everything. Uh, then we reveal uh, 2B. Action Exhaust the Murloc Ally. Shuffle hide from the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. If there are three villains under routed, the players win the game. If this state is completed or there are no Murloc allies in play, the players lose the game. Okay. So, Chimera attacks us and. We will defend. Mm, Chimera hits for. Uh, I think I can spend one mental resource. We are using the contaminant strategy. So one plus zero. So it won't take any damage. Actually, yeah, well, I'm not taking Baxis. I forgot I have the soaring acrobatics. Which I could have used at actually when I was hitting, so I used that on my hero turn. Okay. And the encounter card for this round is advanced, so uh, one plus give uh, one malloc ally a tough status card, give the villain one additional boost card for this activation. So plus two, so we put three threat here. So, uh, we already have the tough status cards here, so nothing happens. So, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, um, I think I will see if I have any attack abilities now. So, I will... I'll use Techno Organic Wings to play Adaptive Plumage. So we are using the Angel attack. So if you are Archangel, deal 4 damage to an enemy and stun it. So we uh, reduce the cost by 2. And uh, we'll use the Aerial Intervention to play that. So we deal 4 damage. And we stun the enemy. Then I'll use this to shuffle it back into my deck. It's good to keep the attack events handy. Oh yeah, and it costs 3, so we'll deal another 3 damage to Chimera. Uh, with the Archangels own ability. I'm thinking actually just... Uh, oh yeah, uh, one thing I forgot was that Chimera would have attacked me when uh, she came into play, so I'm doing that now, just so uh, I'm not cheating. So Chimera, uh, I didn't have a resource to spend then, so uh, 3 plus 1, so we take 4 damage from Chimera. So that's bad. And we will uh, actually ward for 1. And uh, we'll just ward for another one. And we'll go to Warren Warrington the 3rd the end of our round and uh, immediately use the action to regenerate or regrow so yeah and this is only hero interrupt so we can't use it to recover but that is our turn let's see actually uh, we are drawing one card because we let's say we shuffled the card when we were in alter ego yeah Okay, so that is our turn. We ready up. We draw back up to six, and we get natural flight, soaring acrobatics, uh, render medical aid, 
and we had Psylocke, Elixir and Cannonball. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to the main scheme. Chimera schemes for one plus three is four. Okay, that's not good. So we're at six of eight. Encounter car is in the midst of chaos. When revealed, place one additional threat here for each villain under routed, so four, and it has an acceleration token, so we need to start thwarting a lot. But yeah. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, I think we want to get some allies into play. And we have a natural flight, so. Yeah, actually, yeah, I think we are heading to Angel. But before that, let's see. What can we play? Yeah, I'm not playing the elixir. So uh, we are regrowing for one health. And uh, let's uh, shuffle one aerial card back into our deck, which is the aerial agility. Okay, and uh, we draw a card because we are in alter ego. It is another soaring. It. So those are resources because I already have it in play. Mm. Do I want to heal? No, I think I need to go to hero mode and I'll go to angel. Actually, no, uh, we are healing first because I forgot I can ready. So we are using the recovery. So we recover three health. Then we'll go to Angel. You, uh, we use Techno Organic Wings to ready Angel. We will remove the Confused. We'll play Natural Flight. So a uh, remove four threat from scheme. If you are angel, this ward ignores the crisis icon and patrol keyword. So we basically uh, let's take it safe and remove four from here. And we draw a card because of angel's ability. After you play an aerial event, draw one card, limit once per face, and it is taunt. Well, it helps us play something. Oh yeah, I think I messed up in the early game. I played Taunt as an aerial, so pardon me, <laughs> it's only tactic, so we uh, couldn't have used Archangel's ability there, but yeah, new deck, so making some some keyword mistakes here and there, but it is what it is. So I'm actually playing Psylocke here, keeping the Cannonball in hand because I don't have any aerial events in my hand, so Cannonball would just defeat himself. Okay, so Psylocke will... So uh, if we are Angel, heal one damage from Psylocke, so we will ward for one. And let's thwart for a couple of more here. And we heal one damage here, so we don't take any consequential damage. But these guys do. And that is our turn. We ready up. We draw back up to five. So we get a containment strategy, aerial agility, metamorphosis, uh, razor dart, uh, cannonball. Okay, we'll go to the villain phase, we add two threats here. Chimera attacks, I will spend the containment strategy to not give her plus two attack, and I'll defend with Angel. Using the Soaring Acrobatics, so four against two, uh, three, so we take one damage. The encounter card for this round is Titanium Exkeleton, attached to the enemy with the fewest remaining hit points. That enemy cannot take more than two damage from a single attack. Hero action choose to either 
spend three resources of any type or remove a confused or stunned status card from there. That's enemy discard this card. So we are basically. Oh yeah, mm, I should have maybe ignored one attack from Chimera. So let's say it was the last one. So we just ready and return the two health here, or uh, I think it was one health. And we didn't have to spend any resource, so... Okay, I think that's correct. I totally forgot there it was a stun on Chimera. But yeah, uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. And of course we didn't defend, so the Soaring Acrobatics is not exhausted. Uh, let's see... I will uh, thwart for two... Here, I will thwart for one here to get rid of this. We'll flip to Archangel. And I will hit uh, Chimera. So this goes away, this goes underneath here. And we get Blockbuster. So 11 health. And then uh, Blockbuster activates against us, so attack plus 2. Yeah, we'll just give Blockbuster the tough. Really don't care. So Blockbuster attacks us and. Uh, yeah, we'll just defend with one of the Murlocs, so uh, 2 plus 1 is 3, so this guy is at 4 health, uh, four, 4 damage. Then we get an encounter card. No, uh, we're still... Hmm. Oh yeah, well, we advanced. Okay, so... Now we play the rest of the uh, rest of our turn. I'm cheapening the Razor Dive and using the Contaminant strategy. So we deal 6 damage and we, we go through the top with Piercing. So 6 damage and plus 3 just because we can use the Archangel's ability. Then I think I will shuffle Razor Dive back into my uh, draw deck. I think we are able to finish this off next round. Yeah, let's just uh, be sure. So I'm using the Aerial Agility at Cannonball to Metamorphosis to Angel. And we remove two threat from a scheme. Okay, we'll go to the Villain Phase. We uh No, uh, we're ready. We draw back up to five. We get Razor Dive, Adaptive Plummet, Metamorphosis, the Power of Flight, and Aerial Agility. So, all the good stuff. Okay, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. And I will just give the tough status card here. And we'll defend. So, 2 plus 2 is 4. And we use that. So, we take 1 damage. And count the card. E6, the weak. So, this card can search. Uh, in Alter Ego, in Hero, the villain attacks you if there is at least one villain under world that this attack against overkill. Well, ouch. Yeah, um, we can't give the tough. So I'm um, using the aerial agility with metamorphosis just to. Uh, ignore the boost card, so I'm taking it with Angel. 
So 4 plus, we don't take any from here, so we take only 4. And that's good because we would have died without the uh, aerial agility. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, well, um, it's really simple now. So we'll just go to Archangel. And Psylocke will hit the top of. We don't even need to do that, but I want to ready Archangel. Then I'll use the Techno Organic Wings and uh, play. Oh, yeah, these are spent. So I'll use Adaptive Plumage, the Power of Flight, to play the Razor Dive. So we deal 6 damage plus 3 damage. So that is game. And the Murloc Siege scenario is defeated with Angel and with the prebuilt deck. So. Yeah, uh, that that went quite okay. Uh, I think I took a bit, a few. I uh, to take took a, tick, a bit too much damage at the end there, but uh, still we are alive and kicking. And uh, yeah, I I made a couple of play mistakes during the gameplay. I forgot to activate the villain when we advanced to the next villain, uh, which happens now and then. There's so much text to keep mind of and I forgot the stunt at the one point on uh, on Chimera but uh, it's okay I think we corrected the play mistakes there but yeah uh, that was Angel with the pre-built protection deck against the first scenario from the next evolution box the Murloc Siege so hope you guys like this playthrough thanks for watching and until next time